Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode of Geocaching with Komikino. Today is August 17th, it's International Geocaching Day. I've already found a geocache earlier today, and I had some free time, and I saw that there's this one cache, which is a fizzy filler. It's a five train, three and a half difficulty. That's not too far from where I live. I've ignored this thing for the longest time because it's a kayak cache, but some friends of mine have told me that you can actually walk to it. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to walk to this kayak cache and uh, get a fizzy filler here on International Geocaching Day. So join me as I attempt to find this thing. Can you spot the geocache? If that's the cache down there, <laughs> I'm going to be really surprised because it wasn't that difficult to come out here. Now, I know you can kayak to it, but you can also get to this cache here by parking in a nearby apartment complex and walking along a trail to it. So I'm probably not getting it the way they intended it to be found, but it's still a way to find it. <laughs> so I'm not going to complain, but I'm really curious if that's it because it's right out there. Just check it out. Oh gosh, there's a spider right there in my face. Right there, hey. How you doing, spider? <laughs> Please do not remove geocaching. Yep, that's it. And there we go, folks. It's the uh, it's the cache. That was <laughs> pretty darn easy. <laughs> so, but I'm not going to complain. Okay. And there we go. <laughs> the cache found. It's another fizzy filler cache find for me here. So, really happy about this one here. And I can finally knock this one off my caching list. It's been sitting there on, <laughs> on the map for like the longest time. And I'm glad I finally got it. And I'm glad you were here to come along for the journey. Today is August 17th. It is International Geocaching Day. I'm going to celebrate today by finding the geocache that's going to fill a fizzy filler spot for me. It's going to be a difficulty five terrain three and a half geocache. And what's this? <laughs> what is this? Can you spot the cache? There it is. I've just completed International Geocaching Day by filling in a fizzy filler. How did you celebrate it? Wow, um, <laughs> that wasn't that difficult to get. <laughs> um, some friends of mine found it by kayaking to it from the north and then walking down to it. But then some other friends of mine said that you could just walk right up to it from the uh, apartment complex that's nearby. <sighs> I'm kind of sad and ashamed and disappointed that I took this long to come out here to find it. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that difficult to find but hey it's a fizzy filler as you can see somewhere here um yeah now there's a couple more caches out in this area here that i could get that i've put off but since i've got all of this time i might as well do some more geocaching i'm at another location here where there's this puzzle cache that i solved i don't know how many years ago <laughs> but i've just never been in the area to get it so um, since I just got that one fizzy filler this cache here is not too far away so I figured since I'm here I can finally go ahead and get this puzzle cache what's the longest time you've had between solving a puzzle cache and actually going out to find it let me know about it down below Done. 
<laughs> We're at a park here. This will be my fourth cache find of the day. Only third that I've, I'll be filming here, but it doesn't matter. Um, go ahead and get this one here, and then I will call it quits. I'll leave the finds of the day at four. And here we go, folks. Nice cash find to end the day of cash. Fake rock cash. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, cash hiders, there for hiding these caches that I could find on this International Geocaching Day and get my cool, funky souvenir that I'm pointing at right here. How many caches did you find on International Geocaching Day? Please let me know about it down below. And until next time, everybody, cash on.